What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a little bit different kind of review. We're kind of going to do two reviews in one. First off we want to talk about this amazing looking gun. Amazing looking, amazing feeling. Uh, it shoots great and it's been around for quite a while now and it is the Amoeba Striker AS01. Now I get the feeling that this gun is a little bit older although it appears to be in great condition. Uh, other than uh, you can tell right here where there's been some wear someone's been racking the bolt quite a bit, it's been shot a lot uh, butt pads pretty loose mm, could be on a lot of these rifles but I'm thinking no that that probably comes from shouldering and racking the bolt because that is one of the things about this gun is with this short stroke and powerful spring it is not the easiest bolt to work and it's a little sticky but uh, it's because of this coating you know you look it up on the internet you look at YouTube you'll see a lot of people talk about these factory bolts the coating on them just being rather I mean even see even with it already caught uh, it's not the greatest bolt to work now there is an upgrade bolt to get for this thing it's a stainless uh, stainless finish and they say it makes the it makes the bolt action a lot smoother a lot better to work and some people just go in and they clean all this off down to brass but I'm probably not going to do that <laughs> now I've seen these forever online Instagram YouTube just you know general advertisements and I've always thought that it was such a good looking rifle and the price point wasn't that bad uh, it was a little bit more than I wanted to put into uh, a spring sniper rifle at the time but I come across a deal the other day and it it kind of started on Instagram and that's going to lead us to what I really want to talk about and what I really want to talk about is a little review of Airsoft Atlanta now as many of you may know we are based in Georgia and many uh, all of our videos so far have been in Georgia and as much as I really wanted to like a Georgia company uh, I don't think I can do it on this one and I think this is gonna have to be the, the first real uh, negative review I do of a shop now we've dealt with many of the storefronts online uh, Airsoft GI, Evic, uh, Fox they Fox is great Fox is no nonsense uh, great customer service they do whatever they can do to help you and I've really been impressed with Fox uh, Airsoft GI Airsoft GI they they try uh, they they have a good business they I don't like their shipping especially when you know we like to try to get into the mystery boxes and every time it seems they work it out so that you you have to pay shipping on that mystery box and you're probably I, well at least for us uh, you're gonna get one of the you know lowest end packages you can on the mystery box which is if it's a hundred and sixty nine dollar mystery box it's going to be like a hundred and sixty nine dollar gun or a hundred and eighty dollar gun which you get your money worth but uh, the only thing is is they do charge shipping and for us it's it's a lot of times twenty five to thirty dollars shipping so now we're above the price of that gun that we could have just bought that gun when it was on a free shipping weekend or week or promotion 
so really we're we're not getting anywhere we're just having the we're, we're getting the fun of getting the mystery box and hoping for you know one of the big prizes but anyway back back on back on track here airsoft atlanta now i've ordered from them before and i didn't have no problems with my order and the shipping was good but uh i come across they were advertising on instagram the other day they had a odd lot of amoeba strikers and to me odd lot is when you get some strikers in and say you get a shipment in and something was wrong from the factory that's an odd lot uh you know if they'd have come out and said straight from the straight from the get that hey guys we got a bunch of you strikers here that we're going to cut a deal on that that to me would would be more accurate of what these actually were which when you went to the website they were on their deal of the day deal of the week i think it's deal of the day uh never again will i be doing that uh not with at least not with them anyway i'm probably not going to be doing business at all with them uh because <clears throat> here's the thing it it was not an odd lot it is a used gun and we we, we have a, a, a sheet here that they have posted on the internet with the particular gun they had several of these they had several of them different colors I like black I like all black on bold actions I don't know just it's me and regardless a lot of times I'll I'll repaint my guns anyway especially if it's for a bolt action uh, sniper type you know I'm, I'm gonna be wanting to hide so this one had its discrepancy sheet a picture of it online and it was it was a pretty good pretty good discount uh, for what it said it was as uh, so this is a hundred and seventy nine hundred eighty nine dollar gun and they had it for 125 which the picture of the gun on the internet was the accurate picture and it looked great but we all know that looks can be deceiving there's a a lot of stuff in in here that can that can get you bite you in the butt but regardless they had a picture of this right here this is their little discrepancy sheet. Now, listed, they have Amoeba Striker Black, 400 FPS with 20 grain BBs, bolt action. Works fine, just scratched. And whoever this was, reviewed by TMP, and all contents included, yes, and it did. It had, it had the old fashioned tube type speed loader and the uh, unjamming rod and the magazine and the gun of course and it come in the original box and it was definitely the original box because the box was a little worse for wear but uh, the, hey it's a box I didn't even put it in review because a lot of times I won't put the boxes in the reviews because yeah it's the box you know this this is the meat this is what we're after but so there was a picture of this and this came with the gun and as you can see right there scratched works fine just scratched well sounds like a great bargain to me I don't know about you because a little scratch I can deal with uh, like I said I'm possibly was going to be painting this anyway or just leave it black it is so slick all black this stock really just shines in the black. It is a great looking gun. And I was thoroughly pleased when I first pulled it out of the package. And I'm looking over this gun and I'm looking for the scratches. Scratch, scratches, whatever. And I can't find anything. And I'm looking around and I'm like, wow. I don't know, maybe I'm maybe I'm just missing it, you know? And finally, I think I see it and I'm like, oh. I think I see it like right here but 
wait a minute. That, that's not a scratch. Oh, man. That is a crack. Yep. As soon as you flex this stock, it opens it up. And I'm not really flexing it all that much. Gets even worse. Other side, same thing. I don't know if you can see it in this light now that I had to turn it. It's even kind of hard for me. It's right there, running the same way. This one runs up right there. There's just this little bit, this little bit of material right here, actually holding this butt stock on. So that is, uh, yeah, to me, that is a deal breaker. This gun is, uh, it's, it's almost junk now, unless, of course, you buy a new stock or you fix it yourself. Uh, buying a new stock, it's not happening. I'm, I'm not putting that kind of money into a used gun, and this gun is very used. And when you rack the bolt, I'm scared that if I continue, you see that? See how it opens up? I don't know if you can see it. But the crack opens up when you rack this bolt while you have the weapon shoulder. It's not good. It's going to break. There, there is no doubt it's going to turn from cracks to breaks. And it's probably not going to be long at all before it does it. If you get into any kind of real gameplay. And let's see if we can get this where we can see it. Yep, right there in the corners. There's the crack on this side. And there's the crack on this side. And oh yeah. Once you take this cap off, you can see the flex and it's bad. It's basically just waiting to go. Now, I know uh, I bought a deal of the day and that is usually a refurbished, returned, or used weapon. And that's okay. I'm kind of knowing this up front, but when you put something like a discrepancy sheet, like this right here, along with it on the internet, then to me, you just, you, you just scammed me, really. Uh, Cause for anybody to mistake those cracks for scratches, I just don't see it happening. And uh, this gun was tested also. And as soon as you shoulder this rifle and, and go to rack this bolt, you feel the flex around the palm swells. This stock, you feel the whole front of the stock flex from the back of the stock. And it's kind of hard for me to believe that that was missed. Uh, someone really wasn't paying attention. I mean, like, <laughs> really wasn't paying attention. If they, if they didn't notice that but it, you know it, it, it's all good it's all fine but where I really get upset is when I email Airsoft Atlanta about this and I tell them up front look I know I bought a used gun a deal of the day I know it states at the beginning of it there you know this is this is as is. This is uh, this is no returns. There's no warranty. But I'm telling you, when you tell me the gun is scratched and it's actually cracked to the point that it's going to be useless, it's going to be totally broken in a short period of time. That's that's some flea market stuff right there. That's that's not a reputable business, you know. Uh, just be upfront about it. And really, they should have just trashed the gun, probably, or sold it as parts, or up front, hey, gun is cracked. If you know how to fix a stock, then hey, you know, we'll, we'll let this gun go for a hundred bucks or ninety bucks or anything. But be honest about it. And then, when your customer 
that's dealt with you a few times and in your same state that's willing to pay sales tax to do business with you because I can use I can use other storefronts online and not pay sales tax it's not in my state but you know I'm willing I'm willing to do all that to try to throw you some business and hopefully get the the kind of experience that I want to do a really good review for you and we like doing reviews me hunter everyone likes doing these good reviews but unfortunately we can't do it this time and we cannot endorse airsoft atlanta because when we sent our email explaining all this no reply whatsoever no hey we're sorry it's a misunderstanding sorry about your luck uh yeah you can't send it back you can't return it you can't get your money back uh, none of that you know not even oh man we didn't even realize that sucks can you show us proof and if you show us proof maybe we'll give you 15 percent off or something on your next order or 10 percent or five percent or uh hey sorry nothing so uh you know i'm not telling you to not use airsoft atlanta I'm not trying to bash on here. I'm just telling you my experience and what happened. And I'm going to tell you that, hey, go ahead and use them. It's, I would buy or beware though. Uh, you never know if they're, if they're willing to do something like this and then not respond back and see when they, when they don't respond back, it makes me think that they intentionally done it and they just, they, they, they're gonna pretend it didn't happen and it's not there and that I didn't figure it out or I didn't see it and it, it'll just go away. But, uh, and this, this review may not make a bit of difference on any sales they make or anyone that decides to use them. But uh, it's out there, it's still out there. It's, it's gonna be out there and it's gonna be out there forever that they they have had some dirty dealings here and just wanted to let you guys know other than that uh, if this gun wasn't to the point that I'm gonna have to do something about it and maybe I can I could always just cut the stock and try to bond it up epoxy it up go inside here reinforce it uh, with some composites and maybe it'll be okay this does mean it's going to be a lot of work it's going to be some money and it's uh it's, it's going to take some time and it's going to take a a new paint job that's that's definite i'm going to have to paint it because i'm going to have to come in here sand this all out there's going to be cuts and sanding and new uh epoxy in there and you know this gun's already got a few little problems up here with like the load indicator it sounds like it's uh it's sticking sometimes when you rack the bolt it's like you can rack the bolt shoulder it sight and then you hear a click like this load indicator popped out or something telling you that the gun was ready to fire but other than that it's it shoots great uh i really like the way it shoots i really like the way it points i really like the way it holds it feels absolutely great in your hands and this was the first time that I got to handle the striker and I honestly I was I was really impressed uh, I love the fluted barrel they they make a ton of attachments uh, for this thing and it's uh, I'm not sure what the threading is but orange tip can replace it with suppressor or probably not a suppressor on this ASO one uh, it's get a little little long for my taste but the inner barrel does go all the way to the end and I do like that and honestly if if we if we get to running this gun we'll probably put a uh, just a neural thread protect and I think that looked really good with this gun and it's it's already long enough uh, the S ASO2 would be absolutely great with a suppressor on it. Probably put it just about the length of this gun now, but look exceptionally good. Uh, I do like the magazines that come with it. Uh, it's about a, I think it's like a 40 round, uh, maybe 45 rounds. It's, it's, oh man, it's solid. And 
it, it goes in great and see even then even then when I put the magazine in I felt the flex in the gun it's, it's, it's not gonna last long the whole system here from Amoeba the way it works you can you can drop the magazine right here at the trigger guard or you can slip your finger under there and use the little tab and it goes in just so great and it's uh, I'm pretty sure yes it's just it's pretty much free fall so uh, everything on this on this rifle I like as the rifle and well except for this, this kind of sticky bolt and that's uh that could be solved but you see now I'm talking about uh, investing some money in this rifle and I've got money I've got to invest in in other places that I was not counting on so that that may take away but from the rumor mill just a rumor as of now uh, here in a couple months there may be Wolverine coming out with their bolt system for the Amoeba Striker and that would be very interesting to HPA this thing so until next time guys be safe and we'll see you on the next adventure.